You are in there ladies and gents, how's it going? This is my Aprilia Touareg 660, my little tow rack. It's all got a standard exhaust pipe on it at the moment and I've got myself an arrow slip-on system to put on it, a slip-on silencer to put on it. It's gonna be very simple, but I thought I'd take you through the process just so you have some video um, footage to show you how if you get stuck on anything. I really don't think you will though, um, but you could always refer back to this if you do. The Aero exhaust pipes are great quality. I really uh, rate them. I've had them on other motorcycles. Um, so I know that I'm not going to be disappointed with the build quality of these. I just hope that it um, brings out the exhaust tone just a little bit on the bike. Now, um, all truth be told, I've actually got a full system to put on this bike, um, but I don't have the up map to put on with that full system just yet. So for now, I'm just putting the silencer on. And then as soon as that up map turns up for the Touareg, then I'll be, uh, uh, flashing the ECU and putting on the full system and I'll do a video about that then. Now if you're wanting to hear the sound of this bike I will be putting up a video of the uh, this this can, the standard can and the full system in a nice comparison video where you'll be able to work out whether you want the full system, just this one or you just want to stick with the original. Um, I have no idea what they're all going to sound like um, so it's all an experiment for myself as well. Anyway, I hope you find this video interesting and informative, and uh, if you've got the arrow can, it's useful for you in uh, how to get it fitted to your bike. If you've got another can, I'd love to hear about that too. Right, let's get to it, shall we? Keep that bike from down. Right, first things first is we've got to get the old exhaust pipe off, um, and I've also got this Enduristan heat shield on there for my Enduristan Blizzard L saddlebags. I don't think you need this particularly even with the standard exhaust pipe and I definitely don't think I'll need it for the arrow because I think that runs a bit cooler um, but it's quite handy to have one of these just in case the last thing you want is your bags getting wrecked on a uh, touring trip and uh, filling up with water or losing stuff um, so uh, yeah gonna get this off then the uh, um, shield here and then I'll take off the silencer itself right then so uh, removing this is going to be a piece of cake it's just a tedious job need a flathead screwdriver the um, banding on there you just need to completely unwind and then you can slip it off but what I'm actually probably going to do just to make my life easier is unwind it a little bit so it's loose and then when I take the silencer off um, I can slip it off this end which will be easier for me this one here is just an allen bolt you've got an allen bolt there or an allen screw whatever you would call them um, which is a four mil piece of cake right I'm gonna do this one first and that slides off just like that now I'm just going to slacken this off a little bit uh, you don't have one of these on your bike probably so we yeah, it's kind of a bit irrelevant for your process, but this is mine. So that's now out the way. Um, next thing to do is to loosen this and loosen this. Right, to remove this or loosen this off to start with, you've got a six mil Allen head on this side and a 13 mil nut on the other side. So 13 mil on the back. And then six mil on the front. Okay, so that's now slackened off so I can take that off with my fingers once we've loosened off this one down here. So this is a 17 mil. I don't believe there's anything capturing it on the back, so it's just a case of winding it out. And there we go, that's loose now. So I can just slide that off. Now if I remove this, I should be able to just slide off that uh, silencer. And off it comes. The nice thing about the arrow can is that for this bolt here, it uses the same mounting bolt as we had on the original, so another six mil. And they thoughtfully use this clamp with a six mil Allen as well. So it's just one tool to put this on. 
just need to slip this on over here and then uh, fit it up to the bike now I should use some exhaust gasket around here or exhaust gum uh, I've got some which comes with the arrow exhaust but I'm going to save it until I actually fit the full system um, I'll be able to clamp up against this tight enough for the meantime it'll only be hopefully a few weeks till I fit the full system to this so I don't see any point in uh, using, using that paste right let's fit it up When fitting this uh, a nut to this bolt here, I should really use um, a Loctite on it just to stop it vibrating off. But like I say, this is only going to be fitted for a little while, um, so I'll talk it up and I'll just keep an eye on it. Um, I'm not planning on any off-road riding on this, I don't think, for a little while, so uh, it shouldn't be going through any extreme issues. I'll just keep an eye on it. Like I say, I'm going to be actually fitting the full system with all the Loctites and all that sort of stuff. Um, once I get my up map so I can actually flash the ECU to work with the exhaust pipe properly. Just going to nip this up now. That's not tight, that's just enough so I can uh, make sure that this is, is nice and snug as a bug as well. I think this one's 21 newton meters. This one here, I'm not sure of. And uh, have you spotted the intentional mistake? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm hoping I can just undo that fully and uh, take that off. Yes, I can. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I've gone with 21 newton meters on that as well. I'm not sure if that's correct, but it sounds about right to me. Right, the next thing to do is to fit the heat shield onto here. Got these two um, clips. Let's just push on. And then we've got the heat shield and we've got to put the uh, screws together with their washers etc in the correct order so first of all you've got your little top hat and a washer these are like soft washers compression ones there we go so that goes on there like so that goes on the underside of this and then on this side we have another one of the compression washers a regular washer and then the bolt which goes through like that I'm just going to put the other one together off camera just because I've run out of fingers and then this supposedly goes on this way around with the uh, little cutout for the sticker at the bottom that's them loosely done up there another one that's nice is that these are 4 mil again so you're still using the same tools we were using earlier on Awesome. Now all I need to do is apply the little sticker to that. Nice little bit of attention to detail. Awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is fit this. 
but because I didn't put it on before because I'm stupid, the same reason I left the other um, clip on there, um, I need to fully undo this, so I shall do that off camera. So as you can see, that is very, very easy to do. It only took me a few minutes. The reason it took me longer than it will take you is one, because I messed up a couple of times and uh, had to sort this out and the, uh, the clamp that I forgot to take off. Um, so if you do that without making those mistakes, you can pretty much do this in five, 10 minutes uh, if you've got all your kit and your tools laid out. So um, yeah, pretty, pretty easy. I think it was just a four mil Allen key, a six mil Allen key, and a 13 mil um, uh, socket, um, as well as a torque wrench. Don't forget to get yourself some Loctite as well when you're doing this, because I assume if you're doing this, you're not gonna be taking it off in a couple of days time. Um, and don't forget the exhaust paste as well, which is included in the Arrow silencer kit, which is quite a nice touch. Um, yeah, stay tuned if you want to see what it's like with the full system. Um, I'll be fitting that very soon and I'll make a video on that too. And uh, also stay tuned if you want to hear what these exhaust pipes sound compared with each other on a drive-by situation. Uh, I've already started that recording. Um, I've recorded the uh, standard exhaust pipe. I'll be doing this uh, with the Arrow silencer soon. And then once I've got the full system all together and the up map on the bike, I'll do uh, that as well and I'll put them all into a single video so you can see what they're all like and all about and all that sort of stuff. I'm probably going to be leaving the baffles in this can which is the situation with it at the moment. I trail ride this bike so I don't want to annoy the horses or stuff like that. Um, I just wanted something that was a little bit lighter um, and because I wanted to sort out the little uh, um, issue with the fueling uh, that this has that I've heard a few other people have had. I'm hoping that putting the up map on this will sort that out and uh, um, yeah, make life a little bit nicer. Right, I suppose you want to hear it, don't you? I'm in my local neighborhood, so I'm not going to be revving the hell out of it. I'll just get it started just so you can hear what the burble sounds like. I've not heard it myself yet, so uh, it's all new to me too. <laughs> So as it is, it's not particularly offensive. Um, like I say, I've got the baffle in it still, so it's not really that much noisier than stock. Although once you're on the throttle a little bit, it does get a little bit deeper, I find. That's just my initial impression so far. How that pans out in real life once I'm actually riding the bike, I wouldn't know. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you found this interesting, informative, and all that sort of stuff. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button. There's lots of videos of me messing around on this bike on the trails, um, putting it through some pretty rough stuff for UK trail riding. And uh, there's bike tours and uh, all sorts of shenanigans and stuff like that. And if you're not just into adventure bikes, I've got a Gixer, I've got a Motoguzzi V7, which is very customized. I've got a Beta Enduro bike, and I've got a little Honda CB100N, which I need to do some work on. Um, but yeah, yeah, everything's peachy. Um, go click that subscribe button. I'm sure you'll find stuff on the channel that you like. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a little thumbs down. I don't mind at all. I'm all precious about that sort of stuff. But please do drop in a comment. Let me know what exhaust pipes you fitted to your bike or what you want to fit to yours. Um, if you've had the arrow and you're happy with it, all that sort of stuff. Anyhow, you are safe. Take care. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye uh, bye for now. Keep that bike. Rubber side down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that by. Rubber side down.